the chieftain of the orcs is dead, and also that army went straight past Malone, so. The orcs of Gundabad and the high elves. Well, it's pretty much the time of war now. Two more turns. Well, to be honest, I don't think we're going to be attacked here, so uh, I guess we can might, we might as well bring up another army. Actually, no. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it like that. Maybe. Oh, but then that army's going to get back there, isn't it? That could be quite a, a menacing fight, I'm not going to lie. It's going to be bloody. So we'll move my other army up. Maybe we can get a spy into Byrig. A 43% chance. It could open the gates. Spy killed during mission. Well, that frees up another spy. That we can recruit down in the east. And we'll actually send that to Mordor's way. Uh, now that I think about it. Wow, there's too many troops here. Well, we're basically going to go... We're going north, boy. Um, yeah. Says it all. Going to keep moving my... Ah, uh, Mordor. I need to watch out for them. They're not really too far from Oldberg. But lucky I have some, at least a token garrison force there. I'm going to move my helmlings back to Edoras. To be honest, we don't really need them at the north too much, so I'm going to move this army back down to Edoras as well. You can never forget about Mordor. I'm so happy that we ended up smashing Isengard in quite quick succession. Jesus. Imagine having Mordor keep coming at my border and if uh, the wild men of Dunland actually started moving through Isengard lands I don't know what I'll be doing but it is a still red, uh, on another topic it's still a rebel settlement here so um, we'll just have to see what Mordor does I guess oh that reminds me uh, um, I probably should get map information with the dwarves I, sh I should get map information with everyone I guess oh uh, whatever Especially with the good factions, I probably try to get it for free. I don't really want to give evil factions my map information. Uh, but I'd still be interested to see what the dwarves have. Um, they still have this set on here. I can never pronounce this, but I'm going to try it. As an Ulimba Doom. As in Ulimba Doom. That is a shocking pronunci uh, pronunciation, I, I feel. They still have Thorin's Halls to the north. And, uh, what's this one called? Kill Doom. Alright. That's one. That's probably two turns. They get ambushed by these guys. That'd be fucking hilarious. Um, but, we're chasing the last of the Wildmen of Dunland to Byrig. And, uh, I'm hoping they come out and attack as well as we have to fight them in the city, which is going to be annoying. But, we'll have to see in the next turn. Candidate for adoption. Lord... Theoden. No, thank you. I would like to keep the bloodline... Nah, it's not adopted, if you know what I mean. I want to actually keep the, the bloodline in the family. Because, well, we do have Theodred, and he do has a number, another son, Leofred. But, the problem is with Theodred is, uh, if this guy's fucking bonkers, and he's just, he's got shit command, shit respect, and shit loyalty, um, Theodred only has a daughter, so the line might not pass through him. So I would like Theoden to have another son. Um, Thangle can't have any more children, because the maximum you can have in a family tree uh, is four per line. And he's already had Theoden, his only son. And he's had three daughters. But the Rohan line will go through um, the daughters that he married off to. Um, because obviously Eomund has Eomir, he's eight years old, he's coming very of age shortly. Wolford, a wolf here, uh, Robert, uh, <laughs> Ridley Baratheon's son. And we do have a couple of daughters as well. And uh, my favourite, additional names. Oh man, she's a beauty. <laughs> now, I'm thinking to move Theoden to block the settlement of Byrig. We block the settlement. For some reason, these guys haven't gone in. We'll block the um, them going in. We will attack this settlement. Sorry, we'll attack them. Um, wow, a 50 to 9 ratio. Man, they're definitely gonna win. 
If my rig would have come out, I would have played it. But I'm going to auto resolve. I'm I'm sorry about that, but we're guaranteed to win. I'm not going to lie. And uh, once we've done that, we've, we've got another set. We got another battle to do. Oh, hang on, this guy's a bit keen. Uh, the dude still in there, yeah. We'll have another crack at this guy. And there goes my assassin. Well, an assassin for a general. That's not too bad. I, I'm not I'm not really too fussed about that. Um, oh, yeah, my spy. Now, where did that army go? Hmm. Oh, hang on. Ah. Oh. I saw a little bit of grey. That could have quite possibly been just because the rebels are chilling there, or ten, uh, or more luck could have attacked them. Well, we do have. I'm probably gonna have to fight this battle. Um, I don't know. I don't really like fighting battles that I'm guaranteed to win because I feel like it drags out hot seats. Uh, sorry, not hot seats. Not doing a fucking hot seat. <laughs> it drags out campaigns too long, and. Uh, I feel like you only really you, you don't even really want to watch. It's good like getting into it, uh, playing the first couple of rebel settlements. But for me, I, I prefer like everything but the battle in Total War. Like I fucking love playing battles. I wouldn't play this game if it wasn't. But um, I don't know. I like all the diplomacy, the family tree, the uh, the planning, and the battles just like awesome. It's like real time. But I don't play Total War just for the battles, to be quite perfectly honest. We're in the turn, and uh, our empire is coming along quite nicely. Well, looks like that Mordor army has found my scouts, and um, basically all I wanted to do is to see what they had. They have a couple of units of Orc Band, a couple of Raiders, Orc Maulers, nothing really too spectacular. And uh, Sapphire Phoenix is playing EVE Online. We're going to withdraw because we have cavalry. But um, for some reason, a bunch of orcs can actually chase us, which is odd. But, what are you going to do, I guess? We're going to auto-resolve. Clear defeat. Um, okay. I'm thinking... Um, I imagine that... Um, Gondor's on the back foot because they're moving through my lands quite easily. Um, it still looks like they have Minas Tirith. Um, we're nearly at the end of the loading screen, so I might as well just keep on doing it. I'm just on my phone anyway. Um, <laughs> as I do during the loading screens, just pop up the phone and uh, it's good. awesome. I got an iPhone, so he's gonna do anything on it. The dwarf and warriors have arrived. I thought we could recruit. And there's only 122 of them. Well, I guess that barracks isn't going to go to waste. We still need uh, a primary house of production units-wise. But I'm a little bit disappointed. I wish I could have, like, unlimited Warven Warriors. Um, where's my spy? There he is. 55%. If they die, I'm going to be so angry. I guess that increases his trait. We'll move this army here. We'll start besieging Tinith. Is it? What is it? Tinith Anduin. Um, where's my diplomats? Go and negotiate with Rune. I would like to see where their lands lie. Well, to be perfectly honest, we have a quite decent army in um, Edoras, so we can uh, re-garrison Oldberg quite quickly if we need to. But I don't know what that Mordor army is doing. They're just chilling, raiding, pestering me, most likely trying to distract me. Okay, we'll attack the settlement by rig. How the fuck does he have such high cl uh, command? The Mark of the Dragon, the Horn of Dunland, Slaver, and Dragon Armor. The Commander of the Dunglings gets merry. Once again, it's a 5 to 1 ratio, and uh, we did play the battle, taking the capital. 
it's just going to be very much the same. And uh, I'm probably going to have to buy that Red Rebel Summon over in the East because... Oh, there's a fucking lot of them, isn't there? Well, that was quick. Sapphire Phoenix obviously raged on EV Online, and now he's playing Room 2. <laughs> uh, Alex, you're so silly. Um, okay. If I can get rid of these guys. Not really going to bother chasing them into the mountains, though. Move them to Tharbad. I don't know why they're bringing up one unit. Oh, no, I was going to say one at a time, but that's obviously another army. Uh, we'll leave them the buy rig. Once again, we'll repair and buy some buildings to wholly and solely. Uh, shout out to Sol. <laughs> um, convert the populace. How's I think I'm going with their populace issues? 40 to 54, that is not too bad. And there's mining network that we probably should invest in quite soon. Um. Oh, we have an assassin. Yeah, we'll move it up to Dunland. I was going to say, what are the chances of assassinating that rebel prick? Do perfect laws, do we need that army there? If they're gonna attack, they're gonna attack. I think we should Uh oh. That doesn't look good. Uh oh. One, two I think Gondor's fallen. Oh, that doesn't look good. Territory, here we go. That's the main kicker. Oh. It's going down. What are even our objectives? Our victory conditions. Hold 40 regions, including Edith Holberg. Eliminate the factions Mordor and Isengard. Fuck, Isengard will be easy, but Mordor, Jesus, that's going to be a hell of an effort. 17 battles won, 8 battles lost. Turns 30. Well, we're still kicking ass. Um, where we haven't reached any of the rune states yet, but I fear that I'm gonna have to double back with this army. Um, there's no point in expanding, <laughs> where I'm quite possibly gonna lose an army. Um, I feel that I need to move this army to Oldburg. Yeah, and give us a bit of a fighting chance. We're gonna rally up at Oldburg. I think that's the go. And I do believe Theodred is my best general in the vicinity. Buddy, Wolfberg has gone off. Yeah. Eric, Eric Brand the Honourable. Hmm. I think we're going to have to let Eil, uh, Thedred command the armies. I think that is a good idea. But, you know, we don't know if they're going to be attacked, but I'm, I'm sure my spy will reveal some information. And if they have taken Minas Tirith, you would think, um, because, they, oh, just kick the, my soccer ball into my desk. You would think that the garrison script would kick in, because, didn't, didn't I do that at the start? And don't we have beacons? Yeah. Uh, the warning beacons or an alarm system through which Rohan could single uh, could signal Gondor. The Gondors of Eri of Edoras is pre to ask for aid from Gondor in desperate times. So can I ask for aid? I don't know. I would imagine there's some commands and scripts that you press a certain button and it activates. But we'll just have to see how uh, how much of a threat this Mordor in incursion could quite possibly be. But I don't know, guys. Or maybe that's maybe I'm just being a little bit um, scarce, and there's probably a rebel settlement in there somewhere. We'll see in the next turn. 
Well, it looks like this army's rallied back up. That's just under one and a half stacks, and that's just under half a stack, so that's not looking good. We're going to move my spy to see the outcome. Yeah, they're very much defending. Stuart Denethor, you you wouldn't think, or maybe he is, um, like from the movies, you get the gist that he isn't a very good commander. And uh, mind you, this is... I don't know when this is based, because it doesn't really make sense, because Eomer is uh, 8 years old, so... Well, whatever floats your boat, I guess. I would imagine that, seeing as there's so many, yeah, there's, seeing as there's so many mortal troops in the Minas Tirith region, I would imagine that Calandros is gone. But they are still holding on to East Osgiliath. Really. It's a bloody good effort. You know, it would be a bloody good effort. We don't get attacked in the next couple of turns by Mordor. Well, now we know what's up in the, the realm of possibility. I guess I can move my spy back up. Oh shit, I forgot about... Yeah, we'll move them back up to where that army's going. I, forgot, I fucking forgot about those dickheads to the north that we're dealing with. The wild men where most of my army is. So one problem about having uh, Rohan so massive is just takes a while to travel in between, and uh, especially we we haven't got like <laughs> uh, paved roads. It can take quite a while. Um. Oh, sorry. It was like a um, the yawn sort of thing. We'll keep the king pushing. We'll finish off the last of these wildman fellows. Tulsir. 20% conversion. That's not too bad. But what I'm really worried about is Mordor. But only time will tell, my friends. And I fear that uh, the fall of Gondor is coming. Uh, the enemy has taken Westos Giliath, and uh, oh, that could be a good sign. Maybe they double back. I have a feeling that they haven't, though. Mission failed. South Arbad reinforcement. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Well, at least Gondor still have Minas Tirith, um, and uh, we have a semi semi decent force to hold off the enemy. Gonna move Fram to Edoras, uh, because I would like Thedred to hold the advance. We're still cleaning up the remains of the Wildman of Dunland, to be quite honest. They were only thrown into a war because of Saruman. Um, Uh, I'm thinking whether or not to play this battle. Seeing as we, I have skipped a, a couple and I do feel bad, um, I probably will play that one. But I do want to sort out the problems um, here. And we do have to take that battle shortly. We have to take that so much shortly, so we'll see. I'll continue to move my troops further south. Assassins at Helm's Deep. And uh, I'm surprised that we are not... Oh, that's Dale still. Okay. We haven't seen any rune troops, which I thought would have been... Doing very much the same as with Mordor, starting to push their troops across the border. Looks like Gondor is still keep it, uh, keeping on though. We still have a little bit of money. Uh, I'm going to go through and have a look where we can recruit. What? We can recruit troops at South Tharbad? Really? Hmm. That surprised the hell out of me. 
And we can't at Fangorn because we did give Fangorn back to the Ents. What? The Chieftain of Wool. This man is relative, ah, a relative of the Marshal of the Wood. Wood. What? And may one day inherit the region. If the last Marshal of the Wood is dead, you can appoint him by ensuring he has less than eight accolades. And I thought they were retainers. And letting him stay in Wolberg for two turns. Why would they make that a thing? Because his father is actually currently besieging Tenneth Andrew, and surely Marshal of Wool doesn't really do too much. The northernmost and least populated part of Rohan, lying between Fangorn Forest and the River Anduin, and bound to the north by the River Limlight. Ah, okay, that's the river. Right. Do my other generals have this sort of detail, like Egbert? Good at math. <laughs> oh, Egbert. Lord of Helmstead. Oh. Uh. They do have uh, little specific stuff. The Banner of Isengard, yeah. But I, I can't really test that other stuff. Because, um, well, seeing as he was the son, he gets, yes. like, a special retainer, maybe. Yes. Second Marshal of the Mark. Third Marshal of the Mark. Where's the fourth Marshal of the Mark? They don't have that. Yes. King of Rohan. I I'm really interested in these retainers. Rohan King... Oh yeah, plenty of authorization. This general is the only person who can authorize a plenty. Yeah. Don't really want to use the plenty though. F from what I can remember, it spawns additional units, and to be honest, I don't really care all that too much about it. Okay, guys. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna play this battle. Um. And uh, Leofred. Okay. Lord Marshal. Wow, he gets his own sort of thing. Faction leader. Good to see my friend. It's a 10 to 3 ratio. We do heavily outnumber them, but I will play this battle. So guys, I'll see you guys on the battle map.